and welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. This is Taz. I'm excited today to give you a look at a completely hand-tied version of Cold Brew Chic by Beltress in one of their newer blonde shades called Bombshell Blonde. This wig was provided and video sponsored by Wig Studio One. I will provide the links below so you can go out to Wig Studio One and find all of the beautiful colors available on this style. Also, go out to the private Facebook group called Wig Studio One, Wigs and Topper Support Group, helping thousands of ladies find and style their wigs and toppers. Cold Brew Chic is a part of that cafe collection by Beltress. Uh, all of those styles kind of named and fashioned after coffee drinks. This one is a medium length, heavily layered, bob cut straight bob cut style and there's a lot of layering in this that makes it feel almost like um, a little bit of a, a retro or a shag kind of a cut the front pieces here are about five and a half inches so that's going to come down to about the hollow of your cheekbone on most people and then uh, there's about 11 inch layer here on the sides 12 and a half inches on the back so what you're going to find is a lace front that actually runs uh, ear to ear. So that lace wraps around that ear tab, gives you some really nice coverage, and there's little baby hairs, really fine hairs that are spliced into that lace all the way around. What a nice touch. And if you wanted to pull it completely away from the face, it just looks so natural and fantastic. Then it has a full monofilament top. What you'll notice is there's no seam between the lace front and the monofilament top. The knotting is very fine as well. So you get a nice realistic look no matter how it's parted. I'm not exactly sure how much this one weighs. I'm guessing right around four and a half ounces. The Colt Brew Chic that has a lace front mono top and is machine wefted weighs about 4.7 ounces, so it's probably about the same. Have you wished um, that John Renault's Julia or even, um, even Noriko Jackson came in a 100% hand tied cap? I think this would be a great option as a sister wig for either of those styles. I think you can already guess just from flipping my head around how light and airy this wig feels. It just feels like a second skin. The hand tied cap is going to give you an amazing natural look no matter how you style it or part it. As a part of that cafe collection by Beltrasse, this is a heat-friendly style, up to 350 degrees. The fibers are very fine in denier. They're on the drier side, meaning just kind of a powdery feel to them. And there's not a lot of shine at all. It just appears to be very natural. So let me take you outside to get a closer look at this color, Bombshell Blonde. So I think an outside look at this color would give you the most realistic impression of this color. So let's take a look. This bombshell blonde starts with the palest of gold as a base color, almost a platinum gold, but really just a very pale natural gold color. And then you'll notice a lot of highlighting that's a white, like a platinum or a white. So that just gives a very creamy, pale blonde blend. Now all of that is on a light brown root, and that rooting is can be caramel looking in the right light. There you'll see an up close look at how fine those knots are, again, at the lace front. But that, that rooting can look a little bit warm depending on the light. But I think it blends in very nicely with this beautiful color.
so I thought I would take you outside so you can get a really nice look at the inside of this cap. This is a 100% hand tied cap by Beltrass. So the first thing you'll notice is that uh, that lace front extends ear to ear. So the lace wraps around the ear tab, has a nice contour at the front, and over to the next ear tab. You'll also notice a little bit of a silicone uh, pad there at the ear tab, and this gives it some nice holding power and uh, security for the wig. Then you'll also notice, or won't notice, a, a seam between the lace front and the mono top. Um, so in this case, there is no seam that you have to work around with styling. And it's very nice, it's a single hand-tied monofilament lace feature here. And it's, uh, the knots are very fine, as you can tell. And it's nicely contoured. Now the material that they use um, is a bit on the coarse side. I would say it's not very smooth, but it is very pliable in this case. And then moving on then to the 100% hand-tied cap. The material that they use in this hand-tied cap is a little different than a lot of the other hand-tied caps that I've seen from other brands. It's stretchier. So sometimes when you purchase um, a completely hand-tied cap, the stretch uh, ability is not there. And so sometimes if you do have that larger than average circumference, you can get a little bit of tightness. But on this particular one, I'm noticing a lot of stretch and a lot of breathability. You see that mesh material, how well that stretches up there? There's no gaping or gapping. And then let's take an upload close look at these knots. So here's your cluster knots. Very well done, plenty of really nice coverage. And again, just such nice stretch there. You have a closed uh, nape rose lace there and it is extended. There are bra strap type adjusters. Now you'll notice that I did have to cinch those in nearly as far as they could go to accommodate my petite average circumference. So I would say this is one hand tied cap that if you're average or average large would fit you very nicely. This style right out of the box um, was pretty flat. So what I had to do is I had to get in there and swirl my fingers around just to kind of wake up those fibers so that they could move and pivot uh, individually to give you a nice natural movement and look. Now there was not, there's no permatees at all in this wig. So you're really gonna have to work at getting some volume. So what I had to do was just use the heat of my hands to kind of swirl in and then use the uh, heel of my hand and press and hold against my head. What that will do, it will redirection. I'll use the heat from my hands to redirection that root into the area that I wanted it to go in. So it didn't take long for me to mold and shape these fibers. But like I said, when it comes right out of the box, you're gonna find that it's pretty flat and you're gonna have to use either your hands or some heat appliances to get any kind of lift at all. brew chic hand tie this is the reason why you buy a hand tied cap because it gives you such realistic looks when you go to style your wigs from all areas of this style you would give the appearance of just looking at your natural scalp and like I said the way they splice those fibers in to that lace front is just incredibly natural take advantage of that ear to ear lace front as well so here I have some sun shades they fit nicely between the ear and the ear tab. There's no permatees there. So natural. Thanks for joining me today for a look at Beltrice's 
cold brew chic 100% hand tied cap style in the color bombshell blonde. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.